Thank you very much, Chair. Um, post offices are a vital part of our communities, providing access to public services and com supporting communities and small businesses. Um, my own small family business is wholly reliant on, on POST, and I just can't say enough about what an amazing service they are. Um, one of the best in the country, I would say. Um, I'd like to thank the regional group for raising the importance of post offices again, and I say again because we discussed the role of the network as a rural economic lifeline service back in October. There seems to be unanimous agreement on this issue. We all value the social and economic role of post offices, especially in rural areas. So why are we having this discussion? We understand the importance of post offices, we are aware of the immediate issue facing the network, and we have solutions. So why is the government not doing what is necessary? In 2018, post offices moved away to a new contract to modernise the service, involving a two-year transition, including payments to allow new services to replace the consequential loss of revenue. According to the Irish Postmasters Union, none of these additional services have materialised and the transformation payments are ending, leaving up to 200 post offices at risk of shutting down. The research is clear. The government must introduce an annual public service obligation funding of 17 million. Not only would this intervention ensure the prevention of a vital community service, it makes economic sense with the network providing a social value of at least 344 million. For an investment of 17 million, the government can keep services in communities, keep businesses open, and it can get substantial return. When I suggested that we divert the over 19 million given to the greyhound racing industry annually, I was strongly opposed by many TDs, especially government backbenchers. So I hope they bring that same passion to the defence of post offices to ensure that the 17 million is provided. On opposition bills and motions, uh, back in October, the government was still proposing counter motions. But since Christmas, their approach has not been to oppose issues, so they can safely say to constituents they are not against issues like increased maternity leave and workers' rights. Instead, the government now lets motions pass without following through. Uh, issues like the national maternity strategy or an independent beef regulator slip off the headlines until an opposition group has to use their very limited time to raise issues again. This very cynical approach will not work for very long. Post offices need an interim solution immediately to replace the end of the transformational payment and it requires the public service ob obligation of approximately 17 million. This is a clear issue with a very clear solution. This also highlights the importance of joined up thinking. The government's recent rural development policy states that they are committed to a sustainable post office network as a key component of the economic and social infrastructure in both rural and urban areas. With entire banks closing and branches in rural areas shutting down, we need post offices as hubs for community banking. Not to mention that in rural areas with no broadband and whole cohorts who are not and will never bank online, post offices are a lifeline. They are essential. Yesterday we discussed domestic violence. Uh, post offices and credit unions, which still carry out face-to-face -face banking, provide additional pre protection against financial coercion and abuse. Later today, the Disability Matters Committee will launch our pre-budget submission stressing the rights of people with disabilities. Post offices are vital local, local services where individuals with diverse abilities can access services and exercise independence. All of these points are connected. Post offices are vital modes in rural and urban areas. They support businesses, bring people into our towns and villages, and ensure that public and banking services are available to as many people as possible. The government has to preserve these social and economic hubs. The solution is there. The only question is, is the will to do it there? That's very much, Tim.